Scam alert. Joining me now is Steve Burness of the Better Business Bureau here to set us up for the big shopping extravaganza coming up in the next couple of days here. Right. So happy to have you on. My pleasure. Great Thank timing. You. Right, let's talk about Black Friday. It's right. happening. It's coming up here. The stores are ready, but should people be concerned about ripoffs out there? They should, but also you got to be very common sense falls and falls into play. What I mean by that is people have to really, if it's a deal, how do you know it's a deal? You got to make certain it's a deal. Just because the store tells you it's a deal doesn't make certain that it is a happen. deal. That does happen. It does. We have complaints from consumers who bought the product. It was supposed to be doorbuster and ended up paying more than they could have down the street. No, so it more. It happens all the time. Sometimes because you never know. You got to be prepared. You got to do your homework ahead of time. Finding out what the product is, how much it's worth, and how much is on sale for other places. Just going in there and them relying on you telling us the best price may not be the best price. You got to do some checking. Right. Now, I know a lot of people go to stores and they bring their cell phone or their tablet right. and they check Amazon yeah. and eBay and exactly. see what's happening to do some price comparison. You always should do price comparison as well. But think of the sometimes the big box retailers have a special model number they only give the sale on. Oh, so that, okay. nobody else sells that model. So Ooh. it's really hard to compare when you can't buy the model anywhere else. So you got to you got to know your ahead of time before you go out to see obviously your budget first, how much mm -hmm. you're going to spend, and secondly is is what the product is actually valued at because you don't know if you're going to get a deal unless you know the product's price and what others are selling it for. Any other Black Friday complaints? Black Friday complaints is dealing with people on the internet. So basically, uh, so you're, you're buying on the internet. You're looking at companies that actually have Black Friday sales. Yeah, they may not have those sales as well and who those people are behind those uh, websites. Okay, and let's talk about Cyber Monday exactly. because this one, the con artists really set up for. They will even email you about right. deals, correct? Correct. The email on deals, they try to get you to click a link and it makes you think you're going to a legitimate retailer when you've been going somewhere else. They hide a lot behind the internet. So a lot of consumers will be shopping on Cyber Monday instead of working. But you really got to do your homework on who you're buying from because you got to trust that organization or that store you're buying it from. They can tell you anything you want on the internet. They sometimes just want to get your credit card and your information and tell you have these great deals and you end up not getting anything. Thing. or sometimes the shopping you know, sh uh, shopping prices on the internet so basically if you're buying something you have 30 days to ship it so if you're buying on, thir on January or December 1st oh watch the timing watch the because timing. it might not get there in exactly. time for Christmas they have 30 days by law to ship it list by law unless they tell you something differently so if they have no shipping time period right they have 30 days to get it to you because it was a big issue yeah, not too long not ago too long. a lot of there's a couple of retailers that weren't sending until after Christmas so. Amazon kind of had a lot more bulk coming out than people were prepared to ship. Right. There's people so. have to check that out and obviously review it and also mm -hmm. the refunds exchanges. If you're buying on the internet, can you you have to exchange on the internet? Can you go to the big box retailer? <gasps> so you gotta do they get, still do those stocking fees where if you do. return yes. something, yeah. you have to pay a fee just for returning. Exactly. They're still doing you're that. Still doing it. You have to ask that question ahead of time. What is the restocking chart? Especially if you buy electronics items. That's usually where they get you by TV or something like that or computer. They might have a 30 to 40 percent restocking fee and unfortunately you have to ask that information ahead of time. When you ask after, it's usually too late sometimes. Do you get complaints about yes. Cyber Monday? All the People, time. Yes. All the time. All the time. Because mostly because it's web-based, and those organizations are not existing. Fake websites? Fake websites. And then some websites that steer you to another website, you don't know where you're at, and they have the spam, and they have the malware. So be very careful out there. There's a lot of legitimate websites out there, please. Just go to the websites you know and trust directly. You type it in. Don't let a URL come in or through a, like a Facebook post or something. Click here for a great deal. You don't know who you're clicking or where you're going. Thank you so much. My pleasure.